The Fox and the Crow, derived from the fables of Aesop. One bright morning, a fox was walking through the forest in search of something to eat for his breakfast, when he smelled something, a scent of something very tasty. He stood still and sniffed the air. Cheese, he said. I smell cheese. Now why would there be cheese in the middle of a forest like this? The fox didn't have to search any further to find out because there sitting on a branch high up in a tree sat a crow and in each beak was the biggest piece of cheese he'd ever seen. Now, the fox loved cheese more than anything in the whole wide world and he decided that by any means he would have that piece of cheese for himself. Good morning, Mr. Crow! he said. Why don't you come down and have a little friendly chat? The crow didn't answer. He just sat on his branch and looked down at the fox. He must think I'm brainless, thought the crow to himself. That fox is after my cheese. If I fly down there, he'll jump on me and eat me up first and then the cheese. Foxes can't climb trees, so I'll just sit up here and take pleasure in my piece of cheese. The crow was just about to gulp his lump of cheese when the fox said, That cheese looks a bit moldy to me. I wouldn't eat it if I were you. Moldy cheese is very, very unsafe. You could easily get sick from bad cheese. If I were you, I'd be on the safe side and just drop that cheese right now. Oh no thought the crow. I'm not buying that. There's nothing wrong with this cheese. I found it fresh this morning. It smells delicious and I'm going to eat it right now. The crow looked straight at the fox and jiggled his piece of cheese as if to say, Look what I have! Am I not the lucky one? Right, thought the fox. This crow isn't really as stupid as he looks. I have to try some other trick. You know, Mr. Crow, said the fox, you really have the most beautiful feathers. The crow smiled to himself. He was rather proud of his silky black feathers. The fox was right. They were rather lovely. And your head, said the fox. Your head is very charming indeed. It makes you look ferocious, but sensible at the same time. Correct again, thought the crow. That fox knows what he's talking about because I really look ferocious and I am very, very sensible. And I bet you have the most beautiful singing voice too, said the fox. I can tell just by looking at you. I mean, all crows are good singers, the crow nodded. And I bet you're the best singer out of all the crows. The crow bobbed his head again. See, I can tell you're a great singer just by looking at you. Oh, how I love to hear you sing. Just once, that's all I ask. Just one little song would make me so glad. The crow's mind was racing as the fox started to walk away. Oh, well, I see I'm not lucky today sighed the fox. Suppose I'll just have to go and listen to a boring old skylark or morning swallow. The crow thought to himself, the fox is right. I'm a brilliant singer. Much better than those boring morning swallows and larks. Very overrated. I will sing. I will sing for this fox right now. So she opened her beak wide to utter her loudest call. Ah! Ah! And down fell the cheese straight into the fox's open mouth. The fox licked his lips. Thank you, Mr. Crow, he said. You can stop singing now. That cracked voice of yours is not good for my breakfast. But, but, 
You said you love to hear a crow sing. Never believe what people tell you when they're trying to steal your cheese, said the fox. And he winked at the crow as he gulped the last little bit. Hi, if you like this video, please give this a like and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video.